everyone welcome to another video and today I'm gonna be showing you around Bulgaria especially the city of Veliko Tarnovo during my trip there in February 2019 I have arrived at the airport in the capital Sofia on the 13th and I'm so excited because it's my first time visiting a country from Eastern Europe now guys I had been traveling to reach here from France for over a day so don't mind my appearance <laughs> So obviously the first thing that I had to do when I arrived was go to the information desk because I had to find my way to my final destination which was this city around 3 hours away called Veliko Tarnovo. Firstly I had to take a shuttle to a next terminal, then take a metro to come off at one point just to take another train and then walk to the bus station that was gonna take me to this final city. <laughs> Martino! Demiso. She's six. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Who are we? No. What is that? Is that ice? Is that snow? Yeah. Oh. No, that's so That's like old snow? Is that old snow? No. Oh. That's salt. That's salt. It's it's milk snow. Snow. What? Salt milk. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you guys speak Malay. Uh, 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 so guys, bear in mind that these people speak Bulgarian and although yes, some speak English and most signs are also in English, it was a struggle. But luckily for me, as you saw, I got to meet with two of my Bulgarian friends at the train station and they helped me reach the bus station to buy the ticket to my final destination. Honestly, thank God for them because I don't know if I could have done it without them. I don't think they spoke English there. I'm sure the bus driver didn't, so yeah. And just like that, look at me understanding everything that's going on in the movie. <laughs> So I finally made it but it was night time already and I was really really tired so I just went for dinner and that was it. So what you see here is the next day, the 14th and let me tell you guys that this city is the medieval capital of Bulgaria and you will soon see why. What you're seeing right now is the Stambul of Bridge which is built over the Yantra River and I was just going to the Athens monument that you saw just now. I can't believe those are hotels. Sorry, the weirdest looking hotels ever. This looks like New Orleans. Well, I've never been there, but according to the originals. We're now around the center of the city and we're gonna see the same monument and more from another spot. This was definitely my favorite spot. Too bad the day was so gloomy, but fun fact, this monument is better known as the Riders because it displays four warriors sitting on their horses, each of them looking in a different direction with a huge sword rising to the skies in the middle.
And now we just ended up at this church. I mean, there's no way you visit Europe and don't go to a church, even if it's just to look at it from the outside, like I did, because this one was clearly closed. Now at this point I'm just warming up waiting to see the sound and light show taking place at the Saravets Fortress. And this is it, this is the show and this is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I didn't get to go to the fortress itself to watch it so I couldn't hear any sound but from where I was I was still getting a pretty incredible view and I'm sure the video doesn't do it justice but Trust me, it was amazing. This show actually operates all year round and it is said to have been created in 1985 by a Czech Bulgarian team and can be watched for free on public holidays or maybe booked for a fee by request or according to pre-listed dates. And so it was showing on February 14th, which is not just Valentine's Day, but for Bulgarians it's also Wine Day. But I'll tell you more about that in my next video, which will be part 2 to this video. So make sure you give this one a thumbs up if you want to see part 2 and remember to comment, share and subscribe for more. Now this live show is much lower but for the purpose of this video I have sped up things. However, I might upload in a video by itself the entire show at its own pace as well. And just like that I want to apologize to my dear Bulgarians if I didn't pronounce something properly. I really tried. So that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again for my trip to Bulgaria part 2.